question 12. It says, let W be one of the non-real solutions of the equation Z cubed equals one. Now in part A it says, determine the value of one plus W plus W squared. Now, if you're very strong with complex numbers, you, you should know the answer to this uh, just from the theory from the textbook. But I think if you're watching this video, you might want some uh, clarification. Th this cubed, if you ever get the, this sort of equation, z cubed equals 1, the cube tells us that there are three roots, and they're evenly spread out on an Argan diagram. So if I want to visually sort of show you what's happening here, this 1 means that the if we draw a circle, it's going to have a, a, a distance out of 1 all the way. And there's going to be three evenly spread roots. There's going to be one here, and then if 360 degrees is chopped up into sort of three sections, it'll be 120 degrees to this one here, and then another 120 to this one here, which is at 240, and then all the way back up here. So if, if this is 120 degrees to here, what we're going to find is this is going to be 60 degrees up from the x-axis. And if we did sine and cos, we're going to get uh, an x value of negative a half, this is just using our trig ratios, and positive root 3 on 2. And down here we're going to get negative a half, negative root 3 on 2. And this will just be at 1, 0. So I know all this because of z cubed, three evenly spaced roots. This actually creates an equilateral triangle. Um, so what I'm getting at here is that my solutions for sort of solving the equation here of uh, 1, sorry, 1 minus w cubed equals 0, is we're going to get, well, w can equal 1, because 1 minus 1 will equal 0, w can equal 1, and that's this one here, but it can also equal here, now in the complex, and imag in the imaginary Argon diagram uh, real, we're going to get uh, negative 1 plus root 3i on 2, and we're also going to get w equals negative 1, this one down here, negative root 3i on 2. So these are our sort of three uh, solutions for, for w, and if we were to sum these up, because this is essentially 1, this is, this is w, this is w squared, if we sum them up, because this is, in the, the distance here in the x is 1, and then it's negative a half and negative a half, the x directions will sum to zero. And in terms of the y directions, this will also sum to zero. So if you were if you were very strong with complex numbers, you actually know that the answer of this is zero. And, and any any working out just like this would be suffice. You would say these are our roots, uh, these are our solutions. So solutions for W. Uh, is uh, w equals 1 or minus 1 plus or minus root 3 i on 2, similar to what I have down here. So yeah, this is a bit of a long way of, of explaining graphically what this means. Now for part 2, this graph is going to help us because it says what is 1 plus the conjugate of w plus the conjugate of w squared. Uh, now this, because we have a power to a power for this third term, we can write this as 1 plus w conjugate plus w squared conjugate. And I'm hoping this makes a bit of sense. 1 is this term here. The conjugate of w will be actually down here. And this is w squared, and the conjugate of w squared will be up here. So it's kind of just flipping the second two. And, and if we want to sum them up, it's the same as before. We're going to get zero. Um, 